Hi guys, welcome back, back in the office. Um, so today I'm going to talk to you about a seed company, as well as what I'm planting here in Spain. So this might not be what you can plant in your area. Um, from our frost dates here in Spain, it we are zone two, which means uh, from the chart we. Our first frost date is the 1st of January and our last expected frost date is the 31st of January. So yeah, we don't get much frost here. <clears throat> so obviously you'd have to check, depending on your area. Now, I'm going to talk to you about a seed company that I've found and I've managed to get some seeds from. I'm not being paid to advertise this company at, any, at all. So this is just me but i'm really excited about this company because it's an organic seed company from portugal they're called siemens virus i think i've pronounced that right put that there i'm going to leave the link to their website and facebook page and youtube channel down in the description um but they do organic seeds and they do lots of different varieties of seeds stuff that like I've never heard of before that's on their website. I've got a few here. Um, we haven't delivered. They've come the really quick delivery. Um, so I'm going to go through with you today what I'm going to be getting in over the next week or so um, and what I'm going to be getting planting. And then we'll have a quick look at how these seeds are doing as well. First one, this is one I've never grown before. It's a uh, black. Tuscan cabbage. So that's that. Um, apparently, it's good for soup, side dishes, and salads. It's a dark green leaf and can be harvested over a long period of time. So that's my sort of thing. It'll keep being harvested and it's good for to go in our veg boxes. It's, and I cannot wait to taste it because it's something I've never grown before. So, but yeah, that's one of the ones that we'll be putting in. Um, according to our, where we live, because these seeds come with the description on the back for where we live, live to sow them and stuff. We can sow them now, under cover, so we'll sow them up here and then we can put them out next month. So we'll give it a go. Obviously this is trial and error. They have really good recommendations, these guys. So I'm really looking forward to using them. Um, we got coriander and basil there's just two more they can be sown now as well apparently so we're going to get them in and um, the basil we're going to sow into modules and then plant out the coriander we're actually going to plant straight out into the field so i'll let you know how we get on with them chilies they can be sown undercover now so they're they're going in Then we've got Rocket, which is the pretty bog standard. We grow Rocket all year round here. So, yeah, that's one, another one that's going in. Rainbow Shad, I actually got two packs of these. And one of them is here. You probably can't see it on camera, I'll show you in a minute. Um, that was planted two days ago, and it's already germinated. <laughs> so I'm really pleased with that. So the next ones we're going to be putting in are two different types of tomatoes. We've got a green tomato. I'm not going to try and pronounce it in the other languages. <laughs> but this is a green tomato. Apparently it has a sweet ac acidic flavour. They are a very early ripening tomato. And they ripen many in yellow and Yellow with yellow and green stripes, so that's another one that we're gonna get in. All right, um, that looks like a really nice one. And then we've got a black cherry tomato. So the black cherry tomato is another one with a sweet flavour, um, vigorous growth, and a very early variety. It, it does need to support that one, um, and I love the fact at the end. Do you dare yourself to try a new colour? So, yeah, 
No, I'm really looking forward to trying these this year because we don't have much luck with tomatoes. As you can tell, these ones were given to me. <laughs> and I've just not done anything with them, I've just kept watering them. I do think I need to get them potted up or planted out. Uh, I think we might be a bit too early for planting tomatoes out here, but we can give it a go. Like I say, they were given to me. Um, but I'm going to follow the wonderful Jess from Roots and Refuge. Because um, if anybody knows about tomatoes, it's definitely her. So I'm going to follow her. And I've never really had much luck growing tomatoes out here. Because of the season, is the watering and everything else is really hard. So this year I'm going to try and keep a really good schedule on it and get that done. Um, and then the last one we bought for a bit of fun for me and Lexi and to give the birds some seeds we're not going to harvest them it's literally just some seeds for the birds and it's just a sunflower so that's what we're going to be getting in so it should keep me busy for a little while um, now a few videos back I did a little experiment with some peas and I forgot about them so I now have a jar of peas that don't look too healthy. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, I'm going to drain them off. I'm going to get them planted in later on today. Um, and then we also did the same amount of peas. And we did them underneath a wet cloth. Now some of them have germinated. So we're just going to get them in. And we're going to just see what happens. That's partly my fault. I, I put them in, stuck them up on the shelf up there and... Forgot about them. So, yeah. So, what else have we got growing? We've got a baby gem that's come up. And then we've got our ruby chard. The leeks, we've had nothing come up with leeks as of yet. So, whether they'll germinate or not, we'll see. Chicory, that's come up nice. That's be ready to plant out soon. And then, just in here, I didn't think they were going to come up because nothing was happening. But just in here, we have got our aubergines and I think the majority of them have all germinated so I'm really pleased with that and then we've got our courgettes which I'm going to pot up because they're just taking over they've gone absolutely crazy <laughs> so I'm going to do them and then at the end here we've got um, turnips which normally you'd sow straight into the ground but we thought we'd see if we can do them out of cells we're going to plant them out and see what happens to them so we'll do that. And then here we've got peppers, red peppers. They've just not germinated at all. They, Like I say, we only did this box about two days ago, two, three days ago. Oh, cucumbers have come up. We've got three different varieties of cucumbers. We've got what I'd call your typical English cucumber, which is your long one that you'd buy from, say, a supermarket in England. Um, then we've got a smaller cucumber, which is used for pickling. It's like a pepperino here in Spain. And then what I'd call a Spanish cucumber, prickly cucumber. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, we've got those three different varieties of cucumbers in. And then obviously we've got our rainbow chard, all different colours. That's really starting to shoot up now. That's basically what we've got in, in up here. We've got a lot more out planted in the field, um, which we're going to put in a future video. Like I say, check your zones where you live, um, because different zones, you'll have different planting things. So, but yeah, definitely check your zones. And I would really, really advise going down, seeing, going on the website, seeing what variety they've got. Found away on the website at the minute, it's still the 2020 catalogue. Um, now, I have spoken to them and they have got a 2021 catalogue coming out very soon. So, whether that's on there yet or not, I don't know, I've not checked. I know the supply EU companies, I don't know whether they ship out to international, I don't know what the shipping's like now with the UK, but definitely have a look at the website. Um, they've got the YouTube channel and stuff like that. You can see how they grow the seeds and really, really go over and have a look at them. So I'm going to get on now and I'm going to get some seeds planted up here 
and I'm going to get those peas in the field and I'll let you know how you get on. I'm going to do them in two different, I'm going to do them in the same bed but two different halves and we're going to see which one does better. Um, bear in mind none of them might grow because I forgot about them. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to let everyone know now from now on we're going to be releasing a video every Sunday. Um, you might get the odd short video during the week but every Sunday we're going to be releasing a video from now on. So yeah. I will check in with you guys next week and I hope you all keep him well and let the growing season begin. See you later guys.